Hello, my friends. Welcome back. Today, we're going to continue our continent study by talking about the continent we've been learning about. So we've been learning about the continent called Africa, all right? Here's Africa, the green one on our globe. And let's sing our continent song just to remember all seven continents' names. Ready? North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa. Don't forget Australia. Don't forget Antarctica. North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa. So we are learning about Africa. And before we get into our lesson, which is a really cool story from Africa, I want to teach you a song from Africa. This song comes from a country called Nigeria, which is in Western Africa. The song is called Fanga Alafia, which means welcome blessings, okay? So in the song, we're going to do some different hand motions that go with it. So one hand motion is from your hands to your head and out. And this means with my thoughts, I welcome you, right? Saying with my thoughts, I think wonderful things about you and I'm welcoming you with my thoughts. With my mouth, I welcome you. That means you're saying welcome, come, come with your mouth, with your words, saying kind things to everyone, welcoming them kindly and lovingly, okay? I welcome you with my mouth. And this one, crossing your arms across your heart and saying, with my heart, I welcome you. So thinking in your, so you're welcoming everyone with your mind, with your thoughts, with your mouth and your words and with your heart, right? Just sending love and welcoming everybody with your heart. So here's how the song goes, ready? Funga alafia, ashe, ashe. Funga alafia, ashe, ashe. Welcome to everyone, welcome to you. Welcome to everyone, welcome to you. Ready? Let's start it again. Funga alafia, ashe, ashe. Funga alafia, ashe, ashe. Welcome to everyone, welcome to you. Welcome to everyone, welcome to you. Okay, so that's a wonderful song. I thought it would get us started on a great note saying welcome to you. And remember, Fanga Alafia is a beautiful welcome song from Nigeria, a country in, what continent are we learning about? Africa. So another country in Africa is called Ghana, and that's where today's story comes from. Today's story is called Ananzi the Spider. Okay, so let's learn about Ananzi the Spider. And look, here is a picture of Africa, and they have a little um, picture here to show you where Ghana is, which is where this story is from. And look, here's a picture of our main character. A main character is the person or insect or animal that the story is about, okay? So here's our main character, Ananzi. First son was called Sea Trouble. He had the gift of seeing trouble a long way off. Second son was Road Builder. Did I miss? Oops, I missed a page. Sorry, friends. Ananzi, he is spider to the Ashanti people. In Ashanti land, people love the story of Kwaku Ananzi. Time was Ananzi had six sons. So let's see. So here we go. Here's Ananzi, and he has six sons. First son was called Sea Trouble. He had the gift of seeing trouble a long way off. Second son was Road Builder. Thirsty son was River Drinker. Next son was Game Skinner. Another son was Stone Thrower. And last of sons was Cushion. He was very soft. All were good sons of Anansi. So there are all of his sons, all six. 
One time Anansi went a long way from home, far from home. He got lost and he fell into trouble. Oh no. Uh oh, and what happened? What kind of trouble did Anansi get into? Can you see? It looks like he fell into the water and he got eaten by a fish. Uh oh. Back home was Sun Sea Trouble. Father is in danger, he cried. He knew it quickly and he told those other sons. Road builder son said, follow me. Oh, thank goodness. Off he went making a road. They went fast, those six brothers gone to help Anansi. Where is father now? Fish has swallowed him. Anansi is inside fish. River drinker took a big drink. Okay, maybe that will help. No more river. So river drinker, the sun river drinker, he drank up all the river and now the fish is outside the water. Then game skinner helped father Anansi. He split open the fish. So look, he opened up the fish to try to get his dad out. More trouble came right then. Oh no, what's happening? So they opened up the fish, but now what's coming? Looks like a bird. It was Falcon, took Anansi up in the sky. Quick now, stone thrower. The stone hit Falcon. Anansi fell through the sky. So now the Falcon got Anansi. So his son, stone thrower, threw a stone. It hit the bird, which dropped Anansi. So now he's falling. Now Cushion ran to help father. Very soft Anansi came down. So look. Now he fell, but luckily Cushion, the sun Cushion, is going to stand there to catch his dad, see, so that he doesn't get hurt. They were very happy, that spider family. I'm sure they are. They just saved the daddy. They all worked together to save Anansi. All home again that night, Kwaku Anansi found a thing in the forest. What is this, a great globe of light? Oh, mysterious and beautiful, I shall give this to my son, said Anansi, the son who rescued me. But which son of six deserves the prize? So look, Anansi found this, and he wants to give it to one son, the son who rescued him. But what son rescued him? Was it just one son or all of them? Did they all work together? Hmm, let's see what Anansi decides. Nayame, can you help me? Oh, Nayame, called Anansi. For Ashanti people, Nayame is the god of all things. Oh, so he's calling on Nayame to help him make this difficult decision. Anansi asked this of Nayame. Please hold the beautiful globe of light until I know which son should have it for his own. All right, so now he's giving it to Nayame to hold for him until he can decide. And so they tried to decide which son deserved the prize. They tried, but they could not decide. They argued all night. Naame saw this. The God of all things, he took the beautiful white light up into the sky. And so they're arguing. So he just, that he didn't like that. So he's just taking the globe now. He keeps it there for all to see. It is still there. It will always be there. It is there tonight. So what do you think that ended up being? It was a white globe of night that Nayame, of light that Nayame took up into the night sky. It looks like it could be the moon, right? The end. So that's the story of Anansi the spider and what happened, right? He got into trouble. All of his sons saved him. He found a very special present, a prize, an orb of light that was so very beautiful. He couldn't decide which son to give it to, so he asked Nayame to help him. Nayame instead took it and put it in the sky for everyone to enjoy, right? Because one son didn't deserve it, they all deserved it. So Nayame helped him to make the decision by making it for him, brought it to the sky so 
everyone can enjoy that special prize. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed that African story from um, Ghana and our special Fanga Alafia song. And I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.